See, next one is Glogger's rule, uh, which was given by Lambert Glogger, which speaks about skin coloration. Again, in endodermic animals, endodermic animals are birds and mammals. So, skin coloration, according to him, is because of two pigments, eumelanins and melan uh, pheomelanins. So, according to him, melanins, which are responsible for skin coloration comes in two forms one is eumelanin and the other one is pheomelanin so the combination of these two will result in different skin colorations this is responsible for dark skin coloration and pheomelanins are responsible for brown buff and rufous coloration buff is brownish red rufous is reddish brown so a combination of these will result in different Decrease of both eumelanin and pheomelanin will result in a fair skin color. So that is what is Lambert's rule. Yes. Glogger's rule was given by Lambert Glogger, who explains skin coloration of various endodermic animals like apes and mammals in response to climate variables or temperature gradient in response to various temperature gradients according to this rule melanin which is responsible uh, melanin which is secreted by melanocytes is responsible for skin coloration according to him melanins come in two forms eumelanins which are responsible for dark coloration pheomelanins which are responsible for brown buff buff in bracket brownish red rufous reddish brown coloration brownish red rough reddish brown rufous animals living in dark uh, sorry animals living in hot climatic conditions tend to develop climatic conditions tend to develop more darker and intense skin colors due to excess secretion of eumelanin animals living in warm humid conditions with low rainfall pheomelanin secretion increases pheomelanin secretion secretion increases and therefore skin color exhibits various shades of brown at higher latitude the secretion of both eumelanin and pheomelanins decreases therefore they have fair skin color this different skin colors helps in camouflage photo protection protection from parasites and has pleiotropic effects you get my point selecting the right optional subject for the upsc exam can be a daunting task, especially if you're aiming to succeed on your first attempt. But what if there's a crucial element that could make all the difference? That element is continuous answer writing practice at Vijeta IES Academy. Our Anthropology Optional Foundation program offers a comprehensive approach. Not only will you delve deeply into the subject matter, but you will also engage in daily and weekly answer writing exercises. Each of your answers will be meticulously reviewed and critiqued by NP Kishore sir, ensuring you receive personalized feedback to enhance your skills. This approach has already helped many students achieve impressive marks and ranks such as Akanksha Singh 311 marks in Anthro CSE 2022 Chaudhary Shipra Vijay Kumar 307 marks in Anthro CSE 2022 Ajink Kumar who cracked UPSC in his first attempt and many more With daily feedback and structured practice you will be well prepared to succeed in the UPSC examination With our focused feedback and structured practice You'll be well equipped to improve your performance and boost your chances of securing a top rank in the CSE. Don't wait any longer. Enroll in Vijeta IS Academy today and unlock the proven success formula for conquering the UPSC exam.